So if you're wondering why my hair is super crazy right now, it's because I've just had to wash it. I don't wash my hair very often because it's not really good for it. And I'm actually gonna go get my hair cut right now. And we're cutting it really fucking close. So I hope we can make it on time. If we don't, I'll just give him a call and be like, I'll be like five minutes late. So I need to get ready. And then we'll, we'll meet you at the, at the hairdressing place. We've arrived at the only place I will ever let cut my hair after too many disappointing, terrible haircuts that have ruined my fucking life. Behold, <laughs> Kenneth Michael. And I'm actually gonna get my hair cut by Kenneth himself. Here you go. Hey. Just done with the hairdresser. I love Ken. The guy does a good cut. But the guy needs to chill. <laughs> Ken, if you're watching this, thank you. Great cut as usual. And you sort of opened up to me towards the end. <laughs> but next time, I'm your friend, man. It's okay. So just back from getting my hair done. And... Walking around, because we actually used to live on that street. And walking around on that street reminded me how much I hated living there. Isn't it like a shitty place to live? Oh yeah, it's grim. Like everyone is just like, and just like, it's just awful. I'm gonna get my hair re-dyed, because I just got it re-cut, re which looks all right, looks good. But, it just needs to be re-dyed, because it looks terrible. And I cannot stop lamenting over the fact that the, the new rollerblades that I was waiting for, finally arrived and they sent me two left-footed boots and the company that sent them to me uh, Skate Hut have been less than fucking helpful at rectifying the issue because like now they can't send out a new pair look two left feet two left-footed boots how fucking stupid man how does this even happen I was super excited for this and they sent me two left-footed boots now I have to wait at least a week for more rollerblades to show up Christmas. Fuck. Fuck you, Skate Hut. So I have a bit of a dilemma. I can't decide if I should have lunch, Hi. then go to the gym, the and then do my hair video. Or go to the gym, come back, have lunch, then do my hair. I'm going to the gym. Santa Claus. No, I don't know if it's just because it's Christmas now, but there's a lot of those weird Jesus types around. And I'm walking down the street, I clearly have earphones in, and this guy stops me, and he wants to talk to me about fucking Jesus. Who doesn't know about Jesus already? Go home. Fuck. I am so glad that I've ordered some new trainers because the ones I'm wearing now are so worn down that if it starts to rain, it's like walking around in a pair of shoes made of soap. Problem is, my, my new trainers are coming in from China. It's gonna take weeks for them to get here. I actually really like this street. It's like performance arts and like business, like production studios that sort of crowd also St. Anne's Square is here which is like a incredible building hey! no I'm not the religious type as you guys have probably guessed but check out this building it has a giant metal spike coming out in the middle of it like uh, like Alexandria from Final Fantasy 9 Tell me that's not a fairy tale castle. We've arrived. This is what the gym looks like before five o'clock. Before the the adult schools close for the day. And by adult schools, I mean office jobs. Absolutely dead. In about three hours, it's gonna be pandemonium in here. So I'm not entirely sure what to do today. I sort of completed my week. Shoulders, arms, chest, legs, back. 
You know what? I did legs about a week ago. Could probably do it doing legs again. So let's do a leg workout. Hopefully the free weight section isn't too busy. Let's go. Free machine. Fuck yeah. No mirror, but better than nothing. So this is only kilograms. This is not pounds. So that's 10 kilograms. And there's a 20 plate behind that. So 60 plus the 20 bar. So that's about 80 kilograms. That's a warm up, which is not bad. I'm not going for size or strength. Just looking pretty. My legs are pretty weak today. I think it's because uh, I've done the stair machine for two days in a row. <laughs> so that's the warm up then. I'm gonna try and do 110 kilogram squat, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna be able to do it. 100, 100 kilograms. Someone appears to have eaten the kettlebells, so the leg press it is. Now you may be asking yourself, Jake, do you do calf raises? Do you do quad lifts or whatever they're called? And uh, hamstring raises? No. To be quite honest, my legs are already pretty insane. Like, because of my genetics, my legs have always been really bulky. So I try not to do too much weight or too much like power lifting stuff because they just get bigger. Uh, in the same vein, I don't do ab work either. That's why you have squats and deadlifts. They do the abs for you. You shouldn't need to do sit ups. Unless you're Ulysses Williams. Because that guy's abs are insane. Time for cardio, and I think I might try running. Water bottle won't fit again. The phone's okay. Quick 2K, first run in like five months. Not bad. Home time. I'm gonna re dye my hair for a, for a video so you guys can see how I get this color. Shower, obviously. And I'll try to do MAG. I just, I hate setting it up. Recording it, not so much. I like I like recording, obviously. But like setting it all up it takes like an hour. It gets hot and sweaty. It's not good. So we're just sitting in the house, super bored. So I thought I'd Skype Vox and see if she wants to go on an adventure. So we're gonna go get some froyo and probably go do something else, probably illegal. But let's see where it goes. We're going to Bali Hackamore. Oh, I forgot to bring my card. I'm gonna have to use your card. Okay. That that hairdressing shop place mm -hmm. gave me the worst haircut I've ever had in my life. What? I didn't think it was that bad. It was a dry cut, and it took the guy 45 minutes. That part of it was bad. And it was fucking horrendous. Here we are in Bali Hackamore. We're gonna go get some froyo. This fucking street is like surprisingly lively all the time. I can just rolling with the squad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like my hat? Like it's pretty cool. Are you I sure am. <laughs> I love this place. Oh, it's a mince pie flavor. <laughs> There's a mince pie flavor? I don't even think that would be nice, but we're gonna get it anyway. <laughs> eh, eh. Oh my god, look, they have lactose free vanilla. This place is the best. And you're gonna see why now. How cool is that? Mm. 
so much satisfy. Oh no. We've had a sloppy disaster. Now, I know I'm meant to be abstaining from sugar, but I just could not help myself. <laughs> Let me tell you what this is. Let me break this down for you. This is lactose-free vanilla, frozen yogurt, blueberries, jam, and these mystery red pobbles. What did you get? I got cheese. <laughs> Tons of sheet. <laughs> <laughs> the color palette of that is actually really pleasing. Yeah. Color aesthetic. <laughs> aesthetic. So what did you get? I um, I got bubble gum, banana, a little bit of the mince pie one just because I had to know, <laughs> and then I think there's like pobbles, some sort of weird mango or something squidgy stuff, fudge. And I don't know if there's anything else other than that except for lots of this weird hot strawberry jam and chocolate. <laughs> so this is a place called Spoon Street. There's one in Bella Hackamore and there's one in Belfast. Check them out. They're amazing and they stay open like super late because they understand that you need, you need frozen yogurt at a late time. You need it. So the, the the posable tripod just broke. Mm. It lasted three days. <laughs> well, that's going back. <laughs> <laughs> we're done with Froyo. Time to go do something else mischievous. So we're trying to figure out what to do next. And the plan was to go to this abandoned house that's on the road that we're on now. Definitely we're past it. But we decided yeah. to go to Hollywood instead. By Hollywood, we mean Hollywood NI, <laughs> not Hollywood LA. Okay. Also, don't I look like the bad guy from Beasts and Where to Find Him? Uh, oh, yeah. Percival Graves? Yeah. Maybe finally remember his first name. Is this a house on a street, by the way? No, it's like on the road. Oh my god. So we're at the abandoned house, but like, there's no way in. The gate is locked and we're right on the busy road. So we're going to do something else. Let's get a flight to Brighton. Yeah. <laughs> We've decided to not break into the house that was right in front of everybody. Instead we're going to Bangor to do something. Place. This is a really nice town. Yeah. Reminds me of Tembi a little bit. Should we head towards the docks then? So we're on like this really dark path <laughs> going away from the town. It's just a random, random fucking place. <laughs> Hagrid? Huh? Hagrid? <laughs> Wanks. You're a fucking wizard, Harry. I'm a what? <laughs> I'm a what? Spooky. Was this like a secret door? Yeah. We're on the beach now. Found stairs down to the beach area. Found squidgies. High tops are not shoes for the beach. Squidgies. They're like cool little rock pools and shit. 
pictures. Yeah, picture hunt. So we're back in the town. We didn't really find much. <laughs> Where do you want to go now? Burbs. The burbs. So many burbs and mice. There's burbs a, and mice. There's a burb place. Burbs and mice. <laughs> I lost the parents, and so I just like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's Sophie! Hey! What are you doing? Oh, the adventure! We came to tell you Merry Christmas! <laughs> Because well, we got bored. So we, <laughs> yeah, we went all the way across the the docks and stuff. I'm gonna go to the birds. What? The birds. We're gonna go see the birds. Oh my god. going to the park. Oh, that's, that's locked, by the way. Yeah. yeah. That's a new editor. Going to the park, and I was like, "Hey, that looks nice." And I was like, "Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> it was so hot mess. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot mess. That's not fair. Do not put that Stop in there. Oh, Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you, kids. That was so funny. I saw Sophie come over to the window, and she was like, <gasps> "Don't be friends with Goss. They ruin your life. <laughs> they creep. They turn up at your house in the middle of the night." That's a burbus right there. Now we're looking at birds. It looks like a pheasant. I could be wrong. I Ooh. pretty much call any of these birds fancy chickens. Is that good? Yeah. You see it? Oh yeah. Aww. Hey little dude. Hey cutie. Is it okay? Yeah, I think so. Blinking. Oh, I still want to tickle that tummy. Watch out. I'm, I'm coming to tickle that tummy. Ooh, I tickled the tummy! <laughs> <laughs> Touch the butt. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so cute. Oh, many tummies. Just hanging out. Many, many cute tummies. Hey, dudes. Oh. Hey, little guys. Is this what, the way they sleep? That one's yelling. Uh -uh. Why you yell? Why you yell with a cute beak? Yeah. Why scrim? That's one fancy chicken. Look at this fucking guy. Fancy chicken. Look how fancy that chicken is. Oh, there's more fancy there's chickens. Fancy chickens. Many fancy chickens. Hi, fancy chicken. Oh wow, look at that thing. That is one fancy chicken. Good sir. The best contacts ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sir, where did you get your contact? Oh, 800 contacts. Look at the little potato, <laughs> potato birds. Yeah, oh, the other ones. Yeah, look at them waddling. Yeah, they're communicating with the other ones. That's cute. The peacock's getting mad at them. Look at it looking down at them like, what the fuck are you doing? We'll need David up and Burbs here to know it. The peacock is pissed. <laughs> oh, they're mad. Yeah, they're mad. Oh, they're so mad. Yeah. We might get attacked. Oh, are these geese or ducks? Those are geese. The ducks geese. are over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at it go. Oh, has he got a sore foot? Sore foot duck. Sore foot duck. <laughs> the geese are like, you're not meant to be here at night. There, that's a nice face, all right. Home time. scary. <laughs> See ya. So that's the adventure, and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Yeah. Thank you everybody for watching, and make sure you tune in tomorrow for another video. Bye everybody.